is up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today as you guys can tell by today's video title we are back again with another dresses video as you guys can tell i am testing out some jj's house wedding dresses in my last jj house video where i tested jj's house for the first time i actually did a prom dress video and you guys really enjoyed it if i remember correctly i literally loved every single dress from that prom dress video and i don't even have a prom to go to however if you guys have been on my channel for a little while you will know that I am actually engaged and I still haven't chosen my wedding dress. So personally I love doing these types of videos where I try out some more affordable options of wedding dresses because let's be real wedding dresses can be super expensive. So for today's video I have four different wedding dresses that are super affordable from JJ's house and we're going to put them to the test together. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before hi I'm Roxy welcome to my channel if you guys want to stick around make sure you guys subscribe down below but if you guys want to see what wedding dresses I picked out from JJ's house then without further ado let's get on into the video all right guys so the very first dress we're gonna be trying out is this one right here so this is how they all come packaged I guess let's just crack on straight into it and see what these are like oh my gosh there is a lot of volume <gasps> Okay, so I remember from last time, basically when you take them out the packet, you actually have to turn them inside out. I think the reason they do that is to obviously like keep all the embellishments protected in the shipping process. So I'm just gonna flip this whole dress inside out, but as you guys can see, there is a lot of it. Oh my gosh, this dress is so poofy. Oh wow, look at this dress. Isn't this just so freaking beautiful? I feel like this might be a little bit tricky to show you guys because the dress is actually not done up at the back because it has to be laced together. But this is what the front looks like. As you guys can see, it's got that sort of like heart-shaped neckline. It's then got these little bardo lace sleeves. And the dress is just so beautiful. I love the lace. I love how it kind of comes down onto the actual like dress at the bottom. It's done in a really tasteful and delicate way and it kind of just like blends the whole thing together the bodice is absolutely beautiful I love the lace on it it feels really nice quality too on the inside it's actually got these little rubber kind of like bands I don't know what this is called but it's basically to stop the dress from falling down which is always good and then the bottom of the dress is just poof galore honestly there is so much volume to this it's also got that dainty sort of lace detailing across like this mesh sort of fabric so i would say the dress is actually very very cohesive so this dress was 198 pounds which i feel like for a wedding dress that is so freaking affordable and usually what you would get for that kind of money is just a dress that's not very well made however this is really well made it's got like boning it's got padding on the breast and it's just really really nice i cannot wait to try this out I am so excited so let's pop it on and see how it looks all right guys so here is the very first wedding dress and what it looks like on can I just say I genuinely feel like a princess in this I think this is actually one of the most beautiful dresses I've ever tried from like an online wedding dress shop I mean it's absolutely stunning don't get me wrong it did take about 20 minutes to get into it because this lace up is no joke can you guys see the amount of like loops that this lace up thing has on the back it literally took me forever but it's absolutely worth it because i feel like it looks amazing and it just finishes off the dress so nicely okay so first things first i want to break it down i want to talk about the look and the general like aesthetic of the dress i'm absolutely loving the off the shoulder bardo moment i feel like it just looks so delicate and feminine to show off like this part of your chest there's actually no clear straps or anything holding it up it's actually just sitting perfectly and I'm so comfortable in this I feel like my movement is slightly restricted this is as high as I can raise my hand so this is how I would dance in this dress but I mean it's not the end of the world because it looks so beautiful I love the train of the dress as well I mean look how poofy and volumized it is as you guys can see it's got quite a long train kind of flowing at the back but it's not too long it's not too extra this is the kind of volume of dress and length of train that I feel like would be 
be perfect for someone like me because I don't want something that's just gonna take up my whole attention the whole day. I still want the dress to obviously look grand and phenomenal, but I want it to be manageable at the same time. So I feel like this is the perfect amount of volume and train for a princess dress like this. I feel like this type of dress also photographs so beautifully. Can you just imagine the wedding photos? And I mean, this pose just works so well. In terms of the bodice, it's tight, but not too tight. Obviously you can make it tighter because you have full control with the lacing in the back. Honestly, there's not really much that I can fault with this dress. It feels really nice. There's so much volume, there's so much movement, and I just love the look of it. If you guys have been on my channel for a little while and you've seen these videos, you'll probably know that I'm more into mermaid dresses. However, I can definitely appreciate a good princess dress when I see one, so I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10. Okay, moving on to the next dress, we have this one right here. To be honest, they all kind of look the same. And yep, this one is also been shipped inside out, so let me um just flip it over real quick. Ooh, this one has a zipper. We love that. What I love about these dresses is how freaking volumized they are. Like, there's so much fabric. Oh, wow. Look at this. Isn't this just gorgeous? I'm obsessed with this detailing on the sleeves. I've always loved dresses that have like a lace dainty sleeve. So again, it's kind of got like that sweetheart neckline and the bodice is so beautifully embellished with little pearls and sequins. The back of the dress is so gorgeous as well. It's that same lace, but it actually has these tiny little buttons that does it all the way up. And then the bottom of the dress, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's kind of like lace. Layered. Let me show you a little bit closer. Can you see like this sort of lace? It actually has like layers to it. So it goes all the way down. I think it's gonna look so interesting. Again, the bodice has padding inside. So it's gonna keep you nice and supported. And it has also got like structural boning inside too. I feel like this particular style of wedding dress, maybe it's the sleeves, but it really reminds me of like vintage wedding dresses. So if that's your vibe. You would definitely love this. So this dress was actually a little bit pricier. It was 260 pounds but I still feel like in the grand scheme of things that is pretty affordable. I mean, I get it though. I mean, it has so many amazing embellishments. It's got all these little pearls that would have been hand stitched onto this dress. I guess all there's left to do is try this little number on and see how it fits. Okay guys, so here is the next one. I have to say this one was much easier to get into because like I said, it has the zipper in the back. Like I said, I kind of feel like this style of dress is a little bit more classic and maybe dare I say it a little bit outdated, but I actually really, really like it. I don't know why, but it's giving me like, I don't know, like vintage vibes. Do you guys get what I mean? I think perhaps it's like the neckline of it and also the style of lace that it has. I love the bottom. As you guys can see now, that lace is kind of like cascading down the dress and I just think it looks so special. Again, the volume is pretty good on this one. It has nice movement. I actually really, really like the way it looks. This is what the back looks like. As you guys can see, it's actually not done up all the way because I cannot reach. So if you get this dress, you're definitely gonna need a friend to help you get into it. But from the front, I think it looks spectacular. I love the style of it. I think it's very different. And for the money that we spent on it, I feel like it's actually really good quality. As much as I love the style and think it's very beautiful, I can definitely appreciate it. But I don't think this is the kind of dress that would be for me and for my wedding day. But I do think it's really beautiful nonetheless. So I think I'm gonna give this one like an eight out of 10. Okay. This next one, I'm a little bit worried because this is the color it came, right? So it kind of looks like it's like a salmon pinky nude color, which I definitely didn't order, but I'm hoping that's just the color of the outside and on the inside it'll be different. Okay, let's crack this open. This is what it looks like. I mean, <laughs> each to their own, but to be honest, for me, I don't think this is a appropriate wedding dress color. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hang on, so this is the actual color. So it is white, but it's just got that nude underlayer, which I think is fine. Okay, so now that it's flipped, this is how the dress actually looks. So weirdly enough, I'm actually kind of into it. I like the fact that it's got that nude underlayer and then the lace is nice and white. So this dress is actually like a mermaid fishtail kind of dress. It's super cinched in bodycon up until it reaches the bottom and then it just freaking fans out everywhere. The top is actually pretty simple. It's just got these nice thin straps and then it's got like this plungy sort of effect that has this mesh kind of panel. I think this is called a modest panel just to kind of, you know, keep your cleavage a little bit 
hidden. Again, all the dresses have padding. It's got ribbing as well on the inside, as you guys can see. It's actually pretty backless, which I always love, slightly backless wedding dresses. I just think they look so amazing and really feminine. Down the back of the dress, you actually have a zipper, which is amazing because it's actually concealed with these little buttons that almost make it look like the buttons are the actual fastening. Let's be real though, on your wedding day, you probably don't wanna be faffing around with little buttons like this when you wanna go to the toilet or whatever. So a zipper is always a good option. Now this dress was 244 pounds, which I feel like, again, it's not that expensive, but it's definitely more expensive than that first one we tried. I'm really hoping that that underlayer nudie color is gonna kind of match my skin tone and not look too out of place. So let's go try it on and see how it looks. Okay, this is the next one. And can I just say, this one is so freaking gorgeous. I mean, look at that bottom, it is so nice. The style and shape of the dress is honestly chef's kiss. I love it. But the only thing I would say is that I wish it was a little bit tighter. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell from that far away, but there's actually a lot of excess fabric around like the belly, the hips and the waist. I don't feel like it's too obvious until I do this and then you can like really tell how it's supposed to fit, if you know what I mean. But I suppose that is something that you could get tailored. I mean, most wedding dresses, they don't just come out of the box and they're perfectly fit it to your body. A lot of the time you will have to tailor it. I also was a little bit worried about the straps being a tiny bit like too long or too short because they're not adjustable. However, they seem to just fall in the right place. I do have to say though, they are a little bit uncomfortable because they're so thin and they're kind of made of like a really scratchy kind of fabric. They are a little bit itchy. So that's just something to bear in mind. But yeah, I mean, overall this dress is really beautiful. I love the way it looks from the front and the back. The train is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look how long it is. But yeah, sadly, because the dress is a little bit like loose in some places and the straps are a little bit uncomfortable, I'm gonna have to give this like a five out of 10. And now for the very last dress, we have this one right here, which is another white one. Oh my goodness, look at this one. This is kind of reminding me of that second dress we tried, but this one's slightly different because the sleeves are actually a bardo sleeve. So they're supposed to sit like this. This sleeve are so beautiful. Again, super dainty. It's got those button detailings at the end. It's another sweetheart neckline, which I feel like is probably the most popular neckline you get for a wedding dress. But this is kind of how it's supposed to look. It's super, super detailed. And the detailing actually goes quite far down. It goes up to sort of like the knee length. Once the detailing kind of stops at knee length, it then just completely fans out everywhere. And the train is super long on this one. This one was 242 pounds, which again is in that same sort of region as some of the other ones, but this one, definitely has a lot of detail to it. I think my favorite feature is the length of the train. I'm sorry, but like, look how long that is. And this is the next dress and what it looks like on. Again, I love the bardo kind of moment. I really, really like the sleeves, although I do wish they were maybe a little bit tighter, so like a bit more fitted. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, but they just look a little bit loose, if that makes sense. The actual bodice is perfect. It fits so nicely. Can you guys see how snatched I look? I like how the bodice is quite busy, but then the bottom of the dress is a little bit more balanced because it doesn't have as much detail on it. It just has like bits and bobs of lace here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty plain. Also, the train on this one is pretty long, as you guys can see. I think this is actually the longest one we've seen today. And then this is what the dress looks like from the back. Again, it was a lace-up jobby, which took me a hot minute, but it's worth it. Also, I just wanna mention the sleeves are staying up pretty nicely because they actually have this sort of like see-through strap kind of holding it in place. I actually really like the style and shape of the dress. I do kind of wish that it was a little bit more like snatched at the bottom, kind of like this. If it was sort of like a little bit more cinched in at the bottom there, I feel like it would have looked like a proper mermaid dress. Obviously though, if it was a little bit tighter, it would restrict your sort of like leg movement. Whereas right now, because it is quite like wide right there, it's not really restrictive. But yeah, this is the dress. I feel like out of all of them, it's not my favorite. I think this might be my least favorite one. I think I'm actually gonna give this one like a six out of 10. I mean, it's not the most amazing dress I've seen. I've tried some other ones that I preferred, but physically there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not really my vibe. All right guys, so that was everything for today's wedding dress try on. I honestly loved every minute of it. It's honestly so much fun every time I get to do one of these like fancy dresses kind of videos 
videos because I'm just basically playing dress up in my room. Let me know which one of these dresses was your favorite. I honestly cannot choose. I loved all of them. I feel like my favorite was either this one or this one. If you guys are wondering about the dresses or anything like that, I will have all the info down below so you guys can check that out. Like I said, I did do a testing at JJ's house prom dresses last time. So if you guys wanna check that video out, I'll link it in the eye. Also, if you wanna see any more videos like this, please be sure to recommend what other websites you would like me to try out next. But anyways, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. I hope you're all well and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.